everyone, I'm Tonyu, and today we'll be looking at Code Leopard's command line tool for Stormworks modification. This tool allows you to convert .mesh and .physics files into a file readable by most industry 3D programs, as well as the other way around. I prefer to use Blender, which is what I'll be using in this tutorial. Now what I want to do today is I want to show you how this command line tool works by removing all of the clutter from the shipbreaking yard in the Arctic area. We will also be looking at how we can change the model and the materials on the mesh. What you want to do is to go to Code Leopard's GitLab and you want to go to uh, Stormworks Data. I will give a link in the description and as well hopefully on the title card right here. Uh, and you want to download the source code or the comment line. Um, the comment line will allow you to just open up an exe. If you want to at all modify our code, you can do so with the source code. Uh, it will give you a normal zip, you just need to open the zip, extract it, and then put it in a file or a location that is sensical to you. In this case, I place it on desktop, because I have a clean desktop in this case. Alright, so you just open the exe, and then you notice that it's just a very general command line thing. Uh, the next thing that you want to do is you want to find a mesh that you want to open up. For those of you that are new to modding, you can find meshes in the um, read-only memory, the realm, and then you go into mesh, meshes, and then you find what you're looking for. I already have the shipbreaking .pli, however I do need to show you this, so I'll open up some rocks. Um, what you want to do is you want to type in convert mesh to pli, and then you press space, and then you just drag and drop the file that you want and then you press enter. And that has now converted the .mesh into a .pli. I'm gonna do this for a second time with a different file. There we go. So now if we press enter, you now have two .plis, which are the two uh, rocks that I just opened, and you can check it out. And uh, that is one of the rocks that you can place in Stormworks. All right. So we also have the shipbreaking.pli. Uh, I want to open that up in Blender. If you haven't got Blender installed, I do recommend you install it. Or if you're already experienced with a different program, use that. Now we want to update our scene. Just leave everything after selecting. And there you go, import.pli. You move to the path, you can just copy and paste right there, and then it will only show you the PLIs. In this case, I want to click shipbreaking yards.pli. Uh, you notice right here that there's a couple of things. Uh, the first thing is that it's rotated incorrectly, so we'll fix that. Now, also, what's important to notice here is that um, it's all without color. So what you want to do is you want to go to the right right there and you want to click Vertex. Um, all of the Stormworks uh, color data is stored in Vertex. What you also want to do is you want to make sure that the meshes and normals are not flipped. And knowing Stormworks, they are always flipped when you import something. Uh, now how to fix that, you want to make sure that it's all blue and you go to Mesh, um, Normals, and then you click Flip. Sometimes you'll see a bit of this type of red. Um, I know that in this case it's not that much of a deal because this is likely a double mesh. Uh, you can see a little bit of purple right there. Um, but if you do want to, or if it does break, you can also select just the meshes that you want and uh, again flip. So as long as everything is kind of blue um, and you keep testing out uh, if things go wrong, you know, it should do correctly. If you don't, then it's uh, it's going to look kind of weird and then you know to fix it. This is not a Blender tutorial, I'll just remove all of the clutter and that's going to be in timeless form. I'll be back with you as, long, as soon as that's done. Right, so we also want to change and modify uh, the colors of the mesh. Now, colors are stored for um, Stormworks meshes in the vertex data. 
and Blender has a way to work with that, but it makes everything blend. And Stormworks, of course, does not have and necessarily have that blended style. So what I found is the best way is you paint using the materials and then you later on convert it into that. So I just went into material view mode and not uh, flat view. And I just made two materials, one for the concrete, one for the bricks. Uh, what you can see right here is you can see me assign concrete. I play a bit around to make sure that it looks kind of like what I want to go for. It's not strictly necessary. Again, these are not the actual colors. These are just the identity of uh, the planes that we have. And then I make those little ribs on the top face that I want now. I want to select. Those all will be con concrete. And the edges right here is going to be brick. <laughs> um, all right. So this is now the types of colors that I want. Now, I do want to make one more distinction. I want to make sure that you can see that this mesh was indeed modified. Of course, you can see all of the colors are gone, but it's going to be extra obvious if you just cut out a little block. Like that. And then, as soon as we export it, we can see, okay, that's gone, and we can also test the physics immediately that it, um, that it adjusts to what we need. All right. So we want to go into material mode. You can see all of the materials are still the old materials. Uh, you want to go into um, edit mode. Then you want to go into separate by material. And now it's separated between the two materials that we just assigned. You go to vertex paint, you go open up the tool, that is in end press, and then you open the toolbar, select the color that you really want. And then that's not really the color that I really want, but We'll have it anyway. Uh, concrete is completely fine. And then you join them up again, Control J. And I'm gonna do a couple of things. I'm gonna triangulate, Control T. And I'm gonna make sure that everything is clean, that everything is merged. Sometimes if you're editing, uh, you leave un uh, unwanted traces and the tool cannot handle those. It just needs triangles. All right, let's export. I already have a folder that I want to go to, so I just copied that, and then I'm gonna go to there. Now what's important for this, uh, it's just cleanliness, to be honest. You want to make sure that you have a new folder for your mod, and then you just yeah, you give it a name. So in this case, it's gonna be um, my modification. And then you want to make another one just for meshes so that everything is nice and compartmentalized. Now this will make uninstalling your mod really easy. Uh, yeah. So just give it a little name. And then what you want to make sure of is that it doesn't have UVs, uh, that it's selected and that it's um, ASCII. And then you want to make sure that it's the Y up and minus C because this is all flipped. And then you click export. Let's check it out. There we go. That is our modified um, ship breaking yard. Now we want to make sure that it's not a PLI, but it is going to be a dot mesh. So the method for this is kind of the same as converting it from a dot mesh to a dot PLI. It's basically the, the words in reverse to convert PLI to mesh. Then I want to drag and drop the file, enter. And then you want to do the same thing, but then instead of convert mesh to PLI, it's going to be, sorry, apply to mesh, it's going to be convert apply to physics. There we go. And now we have a dot fish, dot physics and a dot mesh file. And we can immediately go right here. This is the ship breaking yard um, tile data. And you just go towards where the old version is and you make sure that it links towards your folder and then your subfolder and then your file. In this case, it's my mod slash mesh, sorry, slash meshes, slash shipbreaking dot mesh. And the same goes for the physics. If something in there is not properly capitalized or it's the wrong folder, as soon as you go into the style in Stormworks, it will break and it will crash you to the desktop. So 
be careful with that and make sure that everything is fine. And if it does break like that, um, go tile by, tile by tile and um, see which tile is the culprit. There we go, we save. And then we open up Stormworks. And you can just see that we have changed all the materials. The little cube in there is um, there and the clutter is gone. The physics also work. Uh, let me test that out. Like that. Um, everything works as expected. Uh, it doesn't kind of break. Um, you don't have any places where uh, physical haywire. Uh, there's a big cube right here, so I cannot jump over that just about, and you can step on there. This method works for anything uh, that also includes terrain, terrain not meshes, and not physics. Uh, it includes clutter and it includes uh, anything else that you expect to be in dot mesh and dot physics fo uh, format. This is how I do NSO, and I hope that with this, other people can also start making their own custom tiles and make awesome stuff and hopefully make Stormworks better. Thank you guys for watching. I can't wait to see what you guys do with this, uh, this tool. And I'll hope to see you when I release NSO. Bye bye.